All my life I have been dreaming of something and have always found myself in the middle of the realization of some project or a wish. And in general, these plans always came true, which gave me a clear sense of self-confidence in my own power and the understanding that what's important is to wish something very strongly and for this wish to be truly yours and not dictated by society or the outside world. But in the last two years, and I'm 42 now, I clearly feel that nothing makes sense anymore. I keep trying to wish for something, to find inspiration and some new project, but there is nothing I really wish for, as if I have no more power left to wish for something. This is discouraging. It is as if I exist in a parallel world and keep peeling apart from this world more and more. I almost completely stopped all social contacts. My home family allows me to stay in silence most of the time. And this is why I don't even speak anymore when I'm home. Sleep is the only thing that is always gratifying. But sleeping is like total oblivion. Your school is my savior, although the thoughts about the uselessness of everything do not leave my sight. You describe this very well, colleague. A very good description. I will try to provide some knowledge for help some elements of knowledge that will help you sort it out. Partially, it is a continuation of what we already have started discussing with our colleagues here, as to why everything was fortunate in the past. When we do something, when we plan a certain project, it will be successful only if there is a place for it to be, meaning that the world has a need for its materialization, for its development. A certain informational structure has formed itself in this world and it already started changing this reality according to its essence. And we wouldn't be successful in our task, and in many ways we wouldn't even want it, if we didn't subconsciously know that what we are doing is needed. Needed in various degrees, needed by egregors of various degrees, people of various degrees. This used to give us a feeling of self-importance, a feeling of self-significance, in the good sense of this world, colleagues, in the good sense of it. An understanding that we, after all, are not existing in vain, that all this life and all this world we interact with is not an empty mind game, but that overall it all has some meaning. Understanding this, even if just subconsciously, makes living easier. And so at a certain point everything stopped. Whatever you think of, you understand that it is not needed. Whatever you plan, all your creativity is faced with the same subconscious question – why? Whom are you planning to do all this for? There is no place for it. And why isn't there a place for it? Well, because, as you yourself found a very good way to formulate it, many thanks for this, everything is peeling apart. Realities are peeling apart. Currents are peeling apart. People are peeling apart. Social spaces, social planes are peeling apart. And you don't understand what realm you're actually doing this for. For what society? For what culture? For what egregor, after all? Previously, it was clear who the ordering client was, or at least the consumer. It was known, if not for now, then for the future, whereas now, who is it for? This is a sort of intertemporal moment when it is not clear where the return will come from, who needs this project of yours. Where is this field you should plant a seed into in order for it to grow? There are no fields. And the fact that you feel free only when sleeping also proves it. Because in dreams there is no egregorial hierarchy, there is nothing defined. It is a pure cloud. Just write your own program in the cloud and once it becomes clear for whom and for what and for what reality and what community of people this program will be needed as the air they breathe, that will be the moment to send it out into the world. For now, in your sleep, you're just experiencing the potential need for your presence in the future world, in the world of the future reality.
a reality that you will probably be creating not as much on your own and not yourself, but in which your participation will be very important and significant. Significant to such an extent that it probably never has been as significant before, even though you were successful. But that success was dictated by the needs of reality, whereas now it is the reality that should be dictated by your needs. Such will be my answer to you, colleague. And since for now you have no algorithm for looking at the world this way, and you have no algorithms for building reality based on your own personal magic and conceptions, this is why you feel lost. You can't even call it panic or apathy. It is just a feeling of being lost, because it is not clear what it is you have under your feet and above your head. But this will soon be over. The more you will, in your dreams, in your wishes, in your assumptions, work out certain new forms of your future reality, the more it will become clear for whom this reality is actually intended for тем в большей степени вам будет понятно, а для кого эта реальность... And believe me, those who this reality is not intended for will never show up in it. Therefore, the more you find yourself within yourself, in this state of a standstill within yourself, the more you carry, as if during a pregnancy, that one idea of personal reality that you will certainly get to have. Because from now on, it cannot be any other way. Быть не может от меня.